Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. If you'd like to go through all the rules you need for Warcry, then check out my How to Play Warcry series, parts 1 to 14. But for now, let's dive straight in to the quick reference guide and the rule that you've come here to see. Move on to setting up the dungeon terrain. In a dungeon battle, terrain is set up as follows. Number 1. Set up the bridges. Dungeon battlefields usually have one or more bridges placed over pits. Set up any bridges as shown in the setup rules for the battlefield you picked, and in our case this will be for the Infernal Forge Floor, and you can find this on pages 32 and 33 of the Catacombs book. Number 2. Set up the dungeon doors. Next, Starting with the player that won the priority roll, players take it in turns to set up one dungeon door on any dungeon doorway. Until all dungeon doorways have a dungeon door upon them. You'll see that there are 10 dungeon doors included in the catacombs box set. Six are open doors and four are sealed. Now we move on to number three, where we set up unique dungeon features. Starting with the player that won the priority roll, players take it in turns to set up one unique dungeon terrain feature until four have been set up in total. There are seven unique dungeon features to choose from. The wall breach, the arm stash, the Cursed Caskets, the Lever, the Shattered Pillars, the Sewer, and the Collapsed Doorway. You'll notice that the Shattered Pillars are comprised of two models. The same unique dungeon feature cannot be chosen more than once, with the exception of the Lever, which can be chosen twice, as there are two models for the lever in the box. Unless noted otherwise, each unique dungeon feature is set up anywhere on the battlefield floor more than one inch from any doorways, bridges or other unique dungeon features. I hope this video was helpful. Please join in with any comments or additions you'd like to make down in the comments section below, it'd be great to hear from you. You can find all the rules you need for Warcry and Warcry Catacombs in my How to Play Warcry series parts 1 to 14, where I go into a lot more detail with longer form videos covering everything you need to play the game. If you prefer to choose short videos, then just carry on through the playlist of this quick reference rule guide. You'll also find on my channel battle reports, previews for all Warhammer products, unboxings and reviews, and you can also see how to make bases and other crafts, and loads of videos on how to paint your miniatures. Thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more Warcry content like this, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. <laughs>